What's with all the noise? <laughs> People are trying to sleep, guy. <sighs> Couldn't you wait until tomorrow to go on a rampage? Uh, this is the part where you tell me your name, what your evil intentions are, yada yada. You know, you fight me, I fight you, one of us goes home happy. You have done this before, right? Okay, I'll start. I'm Heat Blast! And you were just leaving! I got this under control, officers. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. There's too many of them! Okay, maybe I don't have it under control. Come on now, don't be shy! Okay, light bulb head, let's rum. Huh, that was too easy. Huh? There go. Man, that was weird. Open, you just torched the whole town. Um, oops. Are you okay? I'm fine. Peepy guy was fighting isn't though. You're supposed to wait for Grandpa and me before you went alien, remember? Well, considering how long it takes you to get ready. No, that's enough. We gotta clear out of here before the sheriff shows up. Besides, Gwen was right, Ben. You should have waited. You guys, there are some other uglies with them. Maybe I should go here again so I can search for them. No, you and the honest tracks are done for tonight. I gotta get you back into bed before your parents wake up. Besides, you got school tomorrow. Oh, man. Slow it down. Actually, I heard he was heat blast too. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Ben, come on. 
These are for the yearbook. Which one of these posters will go best on a poster when I'm famous? Famous? For what exactly? What do you mean? I spent the entire summer fighting aliens. Correction, we spent an entire summer fighting aliens. You, me, and Grandpa. Ryan, I'll make room on the poster. Oh, hey, Cuz, can I borrow your notes for that Lincoln quiz in Harrison's class? We're not on a mission, Ben. I don't have to take care of you at school. <laughs> take care of me? A uh, question, who saved the entire town from the big bad dude last night? Answer. Heat blast. Sorry, Cuz, but back at home, you're not a hero. You're just plain old Ben Tennyson. And those aliens you turn into can't help you here. Toodles. Yeah, well, I don't need your stupid notes. I got the school wired. D. Bring it on! You're not getting one over on Ben Tinson. Go! the gum tell me to not wear it. Just consider it a little welcome back present from us, loser. Clean it up. Make us. <laughs> Good one, Cash. Yeah, what do you say? Can it, JT. Right, cool. So what are you gonna do about it, Tennyson? <laughs> no way. You didn't just... <laughs> Tennyson. Man. It was an accident. I was having a really bad day. And we understand that, Benny. No one here wants you to bottle your feelings. No, no, way too many emotional volcanoes in this world already. But you could have blinded Principal White. Mom, Dad, it was just gum. Okay, Ben, it's Sandra and Carl. Okay, we're all equals in this house. I'd rather call you Mom. What Sandra is trying to say is that you need to find a better outlet than violence. Mm -hmm. It's choices, Ben. Did you put sage in this hummus? Found it growing wild in the backyard. Yeah. Mm. Can I go now? I want to go see Grandpa. <laughs> oh. What? Well, we were kind of hoping that you'd be finding friends your own age to play with. Kids my own age are boring. Grandpa's fun. Well, sweetie, you know, when we let you go on that road trip with Carl's father this summer, it was because it's important to us that you feel independent. Right, life experiences, they define us. Man, I, and I know that Grandpa Max's stories are very exciting, but they're not real life. Why would you want to hang out in that smelly old trailer of his anyway? It's called the Rust Bucket, and it's a motorhome. You do realize the pollution that thing puts out. Where are you going? To see Grandpa. But you know, you made a choice, Sandra. We have to respect that. Oh. There we go. Thing of beauty. Thing needs a little more work. Where are your keys? Ben, why do you need my keys? Because we're leaving. I gave school a try, didn't work. Time to hunt down some aliens. Come on, Grandpa. If we go now, we can miss all the traffic. You want some squirrel jerky, comms, and herbs? I just stayed. So, you gonna tell me what happened before we leave? The kids at school. Mom, Dad, heck, the whole town has no clue who I am ever since I found this on the road trip. Well, that's good. They're not supposed to. What's the point in having the Omnitrix if I can't use it? So you think they'll like you better if they know you're a hero? Well, yeah. Well, you might be right. So I can tell them? Nope. Nope. That was summer and it's over. We're home now. Ben Tennyson's got to be Ben Tennyson again. It's your responsibility as a kid and... As a hero with a secret. So make an effort at school. Jump in there with both feet, huh? Just be a kid again, Benjamin. That's an order. Huh. Did you find it? No. Of course you did not. This place is already dying for me. Remembrance fading, stolen away. 
Let him die! You are here to serve me, not each other. I would rather I put you back in your cold cages. <laughs> My journey here is nearly complete. At last, my great race will rise from its dark sleep. And this time, nothing shall thwart me once Benjamin Tennyson is dead. No, no, it's like this, Jerry. One, two, three, four, five. Jump on with both feet. Just be a kid. Can't be any harder than taking down aliens. Hi. You have to sit. I'd like to be in the talent show. Mm, what's your thing? Hello, what do you do? Oh, well, well, I'm pretty awesome at... Can you just give me something? This is a talent show, not a talent sale. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll show you what I can do. What kind of lame watch is that? Ben, put that away. You know that trick isn't ready yet? Trick? Sure, for our magic act. <laughs> you know, the one that we performed all over the country this summer. <laughs> what would he do without me to remind him? You two are magicians? Oh, yeah, we're famous. When people hear that the uh, amazing Gwendini and her assistant are performing, they're gonna pack this place. Assistant? Work with me. Well, we don't have a magic act. You do now. Better keep practicing. Back to one. Since when do we have an act? Since about 10 seconds ago. Great. Boy, I love just being a kid. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you in a while, Ben. I was gone over the summer, Mrs. Dalton. Do anything fun? Nah, just spread around with my cousin and grandpa. Uh, you tell Max I said hello. And tell him my toilets haven't worked the same since he stopped fixing them. What can I get for you? Something that isn't vegetarian or has squirrel in it. <laughs> Coming right up. Bellwood. Blah. Might as well be in the null void. It used to be more interesting. This ought to start you off nicely. See you in a bit, huh? Um, can I see that? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Are there aliens among us? Yeah, but I'm not allowed to tell anyone. Talking to yourself again, Tennyson? Whoa, ho, ho. who's that, your new girlfriend? I dare you to say that to Wild Mutt's face. Yeah, and you're gonna pull Wild Mutt out of your or something, right? <laughs> it's good, Cat. Can it, JT? Sorry, man. No, not out of my... <laughs> Lameson. Lameson, that was, that was so good, dude. Hey, it's a little magician's assistant. Speaking up some fresh new tricks. <laughs> 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 Forget what Grandpa says. It's payback time. Forum should settle this up. Here, red to blue, blue to 
Tarantula's flying on your head. Oh, there we go. Liquid attack mode. This one, there we go. And all systems are... It's upside down. Power outage? Here we go. Like you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. Oh, who is that? No way. That's the alien dude I turned into a fireworks display. At least I thought I did. Ben, if he's in this picture, he's not only not dead, he knows who you are. Why would he fight you and then pretend to die? Maybe he wanted to know how good I was. What do you mean, like research? Is that so crazy? I'm pretty amazing. Amazing isn't exactly the word I'd use. What are you two doing in here? Grandpa, uh, what's in your hand? Well, that's octopus. It's good for your teeth. Do you know this creepoid? There's a plumber alive who doesn't. His name is Eon of Cronia. You mean you fix this guy's toilet? Not those plumbers. The plumbers. The secret ones who hunt aliens. Grandpa used to work for them. Oh, those plumbers. I knew that. Eon was the beginning. He was the first alien captured nearly two centuries ago by the original plumbers. According to the archival material, he was half dead and was carrying with him a device called the Hands of Armageddon. What was it? it took us many years to find out. The Hands of Armageddon is a doomsday machine capable of opening a gateway into our dimension, signaling the start of an alien invasion that would mark the end of humankind. Eon was the beginning. He's brought with him our end. You two pack your things. We're going on a road trip. I still can't raise anybody. We'll be there soon enough. lab was built to conduct tests on alien life forms and technologies. We kept Eon here locked down in deep freeze, a highly guarded secret, even from the plumbers themselves. It sure is quiet. Is anything even here anymore? This Eon guy is supposed to be. Supposed to be is right, Gwen.
Oh, cool. Yeah, like freezing cool. We've got to find Constantine Jacobs. Come on. Who? He's the plumber in charge of Eon. Grandpa. Jacobs. Gross. I'm sorry, Constantine. I wish we could have got here sooner. I'm not dead! Ah! Constantine, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just hang on, we're gonna get help for you. Too late. Eon did this. Made me all in the blink of an eye. <coughs> He's after her. The hands. Can't let him find the hardware store. Or the rest of the plumbers. Grandpa, you, you said the plumbers disbanded. We kept a handful active to watch over our things. <gasps> Dangerous things. None more so than the hands. We never planned for this. You're the one. The boy who found the Omnitrix. Eon knows about you. How could he know about me? I've never seen him before the other night. He knows. He knows. Good luck, my son. You'll need it. He was a good friend. And a true plumber. What did he mean, he knows? I couldn't say. That's why I keep telling you, Ben, to be careful. This is not a game. Well, I guess this means we won't be going back to school. Here we go. Come on, am I wrong? We gotta find this Eon dude in the hands of... whatever. Armageddon? It means the end of the world. I know that. Now? I think we should start with this super secret hideout, codenamed The Hardware Store. I bet it's in some awesome location, totally surrounded and hidden by traps. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get in. This doesn't look like a super secret location. Miller's Hardware in Bellwood? A regular hardware store? Is this a joke? This is a joke. <laughs> Not funny. All right, come on. Grandpa, I've been in this store a hundred times. Good, then you should know where everything is. Counterclockwise. One, two, three. It's impolite not to flush. What? Where did that come from? But you said you'd been here before. Come on. An antenna helps pass the time. I know that. I've seen that sign all over Bellwood. It's not surprising, since that's been the icon of the plumbers for centuries. High security. Geometric scanners. Delta-4 motion trackers. Sweet. What'd you think? We were just gonna ring a doorbell. Ben, Gwen, I'd like you to meet the last of the legendary plumbers. Undoubtedly, you'll recognize some of them. No way. Mrs. Dalton? That was sure some ice cream party Gray Matter threw those kids. Is Mr. Hawkins a postman? Good to see you, kids. Fire Chief Whittington? You've been keeping me very busy, young man. And Principal White? 
Sorry about that detention the other day, Ben. Didn't want to blow my cover. I'm officially confused. Ditto. Let's move, people. So why didn't you tell us? Take us to the hands. The hands? You mean it's here? This has been under Bellwood the whole time? No, they just put it in last week. Bellwood. All this was created to protect the hands of whatever? Wow, I guess Bellwood isn't as boring as I thought it was. Is that? The hands of Armageddon. just destroy it. We've tried, honey. Over the years, we plumbers have thrown everything we got at it. But the hands have a way of deflecting us. First time we tried, the force of energy accidentally created the Grand Canyon. So they say. One of the next times started the Chicago Fire. Mrs. O'Leary's cow, that was a cover story. And I personally kicked off the Great Quake of 89. That was a rocky afternoon, let me tell you. We devoted our lives into making sure the hands never were used for their original purpose. But it's been some years since we last had to fight Eon off the darn thing. We're too old and too few now. Sounds like you need someone to save the world. A hero. Like me. A hero like me. It is me you're talking about, right? Because if it is, you got no problems. I'm ready. I won't let you guys down. Of course, I probably should be excused from doing any homework. And this is serious. Security breach, Sector 5. They're inside. Reinforce. Weapons. Hurry up, Ed. Okay. Hurry up, Ed. My memory is not what it used to be. Get out of the way, Ed! Silver call, all right? This is it. I kept a little ring on it so I'd recognize it. It's this one.
No one can help you, Benjamin. What is about to happen here is inevitable. You, you died. I saw you burn up. In the world where I came from, my people have the ability to manipulate time at its base level. By distorting the molecules around my form, it was a simple matter to create the illusion that I wanted you to see. A cheap parlor trick, really, but sufficient to assess your powers. Why don't you go back to your own world, where someone cares what you think? Sadly, I can't do that, not without your help. You see, I am a prisoner of time, as is my race. But not for long. I won't let you have the only tricks. You don't have a choice. Neither of us do. Go on, get you ugly Jew bug. You? You're a plumber too? Of course I am. Don't you know a disguise when you see one? That's a disguise? No. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> no. Hustle yourself home before he gets back. I'll clean up this mess here. Tell you the truth, this is the most fun I've had in years. <laughs> ben? Did we do something to hurt your feelings? What? We want you to feel free to have a dialogue with us, Ben. M Mom, Sandra. What are you guys talking about? You didn't come home for dinner. And you didn't call. Not that we want to constrict you. No, no. Freedom is precious. I've always said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it wasn't you guys. I was with Gwen. We were practicing for the school talent show. Talent show? Oh, well, why didn't you tell us that? That's great. Now you can show all those kids how talented the Tennysons are, huh? Oh, Carl, honey, we should get him some tape from our experimental theater days. Oh, no, Your we shouldn't. Your father was I... so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we did mime, was. we did mask work. <laughs> you can get to bed. OK, honey. Don't show those tapes. Good night, Ben. Grandpa. Yeah, I saw you come in. Hubbard radioed the plumbers about what happened with Eon. I'm just glad you're all right. Is Gwen okay? She's fine. The plumbers took a hit, but at least we now know what we're dealing with. Grandpa, right before Eon grabbed me, the Omnitrix, it started to glow and burn. Then when Eon grabbed it, it stopped working. It did? Yeah. It looks fine now. Not the first time it's glowed like that. Ian said that what was happening was inevitable, and that I was a part of it. Ben, the plumbers are afraid that Eon might need the Omnitrex to power the hands of Armageddon. That might explain why he went after you and left the hands behind. We want to get you away from the town. It's for your own safety. What? No, I'm not running away. No, you can't look at it that way. If Eon wants the Omnitrex, he's going to find me. It doesn't matter where I go. Man. You and the plumbers said that it's up to me now to protect the town. So let me. Let Eon come and find me here in Bellwood. And when he does, we'll get him. Together. I can do this, Grandpa. I know I can. Okay, but there's gonna be a plumber watching you around the clock. I don't need a babysitter. Well, then we don't have a deal. Fine, fine. We'll have a babysitter. Good. Now it's bedtime for you. No, Ben, I didn't want this life for you. I shielded your father from it and your grandma before she passed. Most people never see what goes on behind the curtain. You never had that choice. But I won't let anything hurt you, Ben. Good. So I'll never let anything hurt you, Grandpa. Ha, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
gotcha. Any sign of Vion? Are you kidding? Grandpa's got half the plumbers in town watching. Look at this. There's Mr. Engels, the facility guy. Mr. Jennings from the phone company. Heck, we even got old lady Carlisle in her plants. Mm -hmm. Eon's not stupid. There's no way he's gonna show. Well, that'll give us some time to practice. What's this stuff? Magic tricks for the talent show. I bought a kid at the Toy Emporium. Don't worry, I'll handle the actual magic. You can just stand there and give me stuff. Gee, that sounds like something an assistant does. Girls are assistants. Times have changed, cuz. Don't worry, you'll look great in a leotard. What's the point, anyways? If I don't stop Eon, fitting in at school really isn't gonna matter anymore, is it? Hello, Ben. <gasps> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. I saw you came in. Wanted to make sure you uh, were okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Must be strange for you, talking to me now that you know I'm a plumber, isn't it? Wow, yeah, it really is. I mean, you're Principal White, the weird, creepy guy no one likes. I didn't mean it's creepy. Oh, no need to explain. Coming back out? No, I just, I'm just gonna stay alone for a little bit. Right, I understand. If you ever need me, or any of the other plumbers. You'll be watching. Got it. And Ben. Just one more thing. And throw him out in here. Ah! With all those plumbers around, I was beginning to think we would never have a moment alone. Now, Benjamin, I'm going to show you your future. Session. Today, we play Pummel the Creepy Alien Dude. Settle this thing once and for all. When an alarm sounds, the entire school gathers in the courtyard through which room, Benjamin? Oh man. Give me a break. Huh? Great. Just where I wanted to spend fifth period. Ben, wait up. What happened? Tell me, that's what happened. Eon says he wants me alone. That's what he'll get. Ben! On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the stupidest thing you've ever done, this is a 15. No one's making you stay. If Eon knows you're being watched by plumbers, do you think he's gonna know you're saying the trap for him? I don't care. When he shows up this time, I'm going to be ready. Though it is my town. Mom, Dad, and Grandpa's town. I live here, too. I'm not gonna let him threaten our home. It's up to me, Gwen. Don't you get that? Yeah, I get it. If I don't like it. What was that? Is it him? I, I can't tell. This is it. Ben. <gasps> Grandpa! How did you know we were here? It's the only place in Bellwood that I hadn't checked. It was his idea. He was trying to set a trap for Eon. Traitor. Do you know how dangerous, how foolish this is? But Grandpa, I can do this. I'm ready. Ben, did you ever stop to think that getting you alone is precisely what Eon wants? Now, 
come on. Grandpa? We're here, Ben. We're all right. I hope you don't mind that I brought them along to watch. Eon, let the children go. You can have the Omnitrix. Ow. I think you knocked that loose ground back into place. Save me a menace, Bill. Stop it! Leave him alone! Have you ever wondered why the Omnitrix only allows you to change for ten minutes at a time? Sure. Unfortunately, I lost the instruction men. It's a fail-safe. So that the DNA of the alien life forms trapped within the Omnitrix don't overwhelm you when they take you over. A fail-safe that can be easily overridden if one knows the Omnitrix as intimately as I do. I came here in a desperate mission to rescue my people. Yeah, rescue them by taking over our world. We were a gilded race of warriors. We mastered the elements. Gods grew too strong and destroyed ourselves. With the hands of Armageddon, we could be reborn on Earth. But in order to do that, I needed to find you. What are you talking about? Get this secret even from your own blood, dear. You are the reason I came back two centuries ago. Then again, countless times, my body growing weaker and weaker with each leap through time. I was looking for you, Benjamin, the boy with the Omnitrix. You knew? We hoped you'd never find out. This day would never come. Why me? It's my DNA that will be released from the Omnitrix. I am the alien life form that will soon overwhelm you. You are me, Benjamin. No! You're lying! My time is almost over. But I will be reborn in you. And I have great strength to power the hands of Armageddon and open a time rift to my dying world, bringing an end to yours. You will no longer be a simple, helpless child, but a god. Not for mere moments, but for infinity. Don't you touch me, freak! Ben, don't worry, we're gonna get you free. Disappoint you. Such power. Trapped. Held slave by a child. No longer. I am free!
At last, time for my people to wake and meet their new world. It's okay. It's good to be excited. Yes, sorry. <laughs> our, our sons. We're part of yours too. I can. <laughs> hey, here's, ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Gosh. All right. Okay. There. I didn't see Ben before we left. I'm okay. I made him a lucky hemp bracelet. I'm sure I... that they're just working out some last-minute bit of pressed vegetation. Okay. And remember, not to bait him too much with affection in front of his friends. We want him to know that we respect him as a peer. Mm. Gwen, if you step up on that block behind you. You think you can put your foot on my back pocket and push out my wrench? I don't know, maybe. Give it a try. Uh. Atta girl. Good. Good. Okay. Now, see if you can kick open the top of the wrench. One more time. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I want you to hide. I have to shut down the hands before the time rift becomes unstoppable. What about Ben? Don't worry, we'll get him back, okay? Sorry about this, Ben. Please don't tell your parents. It's so hot. <coughs> Miss me? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Hurry up and open the door. You guys are Hurry lost up, without open me. the door. Hurry up, open the door. Hot. Over okay, there. Okay, I remember it's a, it, it's over a, there. No, no. Over there. On the wall. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that was easy. Lord. Really, Ed? Could you have taken any longer to get here? Sorry, Doris. Woke up in the school infirmary. Our nurse went me out of there. Uh, at least I brought these. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's get plumbing. <clears throat> okay, one's negative and one's positive. But which one? Darn it, Max, don't blow up your own hometown. Against many. 
It hardly seems fair. Ben, please don't. I know you're in there. I need you. <clears throat> Grandpa Max needs you. <clears throat> the world needs you. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's working. I won't believe it. <clears throat> Keep fighting, Ben. record. I never cried when you pinned me. I had something in my eye. Fine, Ma. I'm just glad you're you again. If you ever tell anyone I said that, you know, L word. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Step back. care of the hands then grandpa grandpa no grandpa i'm sorry ben it was the only way you're free now eon's gone just know that everything i did was to protect you please don't leave me i can't lose you now you won't ben of all the things i've done in my life i'm the most proud of you my grandson I'll always be with you, Ben. Now get! Not without you! I know who I am now, Grandpa! And I know because of you! You taught me! But I'm not finished learning yet! I said get, Ben! I need help! I wasn't too smart. I didn't teach you that. I know. That's what I've ever listened to you. Oh my gosh, Ben, we completely forgot about the talent show. We're supposed to go on in less than 10 minutes. Grandpa, Mom and Dad, I mean, Sandra and Carl are gonna freak if we don't show. No problem. We can take my car. Don't worry, I'll drop you around back. Nobody will see you with the principal. Okay, car key. You know, even though I never want to be Eon again, I think I could ever access those cool powers, minus the body snatching part. Found the key. The answer to your question, Benjamin, is no. Those powers still belong to me. The hands are gone, Eon. Your world is gone. You could have been a god! <laughs> Play shooting ducks until your time runs out.
Nobody noticed that. I don't feel so good. Oh. Did you find them? Honey, honey. Oh. Breathe. Okay. Breathe. I, I'm sure that Gwen and Ben are fine. They're probably just off somewhere getting centered. Oh. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> so, let's put our hands together for the great Grandini and her assistant! <laughs> okay, what's all right? <laughs> Where are they? I don't know. Do not yell at me. It's not my fault. Well, it's your job. Find them. No, no, no. I am supposed to be here and read my lines, and then if they show up, they show up. It is not my... Do not send me into a shame spiral. Mm. They're going to be here in a second. <laughs> What's that noise? I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish we could learn and practicing. Uh, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Right on. Well, um, I'm Wendini, and this is Wild Butt. He's an alien, not a big dog. Common mistake. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do something right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible transformation has to go. So, Nisan really does know a lot, but... Maybe you shouldn't have made fun of him. Better hope Tennyson doesn't tell Wild and let you call him his girlfriend or your toast. Can it, JT? Tennyson's cool. You, you can do something like that. Sorry. I'm so out of here, man. Look at me, dude. Wow, finish! Well, it looks like the judge's decision is unanimous. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by this. The winner of tonight's talent show, first place is... The Velvet Sassy! Oh, great job, girls! Great, thank you. Good for you. All right. And in second place, no slouch, the winner is the great Grandini and her assistant! Yes! Yeah. Well, congratulations! Guess they did practice more than us. Yeah, well, I'd like to see the Bellwood Sassy stop an invading alien army from coming through a rift in space by defeating a time-traveling psycho. Don't be a sore loser. Oh, Ben, what a divinely mystical experience, you turning into you from that giant dog. That's wild mud, darling. He's one of the heroes you read about in papers. Dad, I mean, Carl, you know about wild mud? I'd be surprised what I know about Ben. How'd you do? Second place. Oh, that's not bad. That calls for a celebration on me. Not every day you get second place. And save the world. Come on. Don't y'all wait up. We got some pizza to devour. Watch how much cheese you eat, Ben. You know all that lactose makes you gassy. Let the kid live a little bit, honey. Eat all the cheese you want, Ben. Well, what do you feel like? Cricket tongue on crackers or some spicy bug larva? Ew. <laughs> you said we're having pizza. I'm only kidding with you. I'll only put the larva on my half. Ew. <laughs> I guess Bella's getting back to normal. That it is. Might be time to put the Omnitrix away for a while, Ben. At least wash that shirt. It reeks. I'm 
gonna miss it though. Having no aliens around. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Aliens are a tenacious breed. 